Thoracic outlet syndrome symptoms are diverse due to the compression of nerves, arteries, and veins. This is the space located between your collarbone and the first rib. Some symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome include pain, tingling, and weakness in the upper limbs. At the same time, the compression of blood vessels leads to the coldness, discoloration, and swelling of the arms and hands. In this video, we will cover thoracic outlet syndrome symptoms to help you identify this condition early on and take appropriate measures. If you are kind enough, consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. You can always unsubscribe if I don't do a good job. Before we detail the symptoms of TOS, it would be a good idea to take a look at the causes of this condition. First, anatomical variations. Structural variations in the bones, muscles, and nerves that occur in the thoracic outlet space can increase the risk of thoracic outlet syndrome. Second, repetitive strain injuries. Engaging in any activity that requires repetitive overhead movements might injure the soft tissues in the thoracic outlet space. Over time, this could develop into TOS. Third, physical trauma, fractures, dislocations and sprains in the thoracic outlet region can all cause thoracic outlet syndrome. Fourth, pregnancy. The physiological changes that occur during pregnancy might put pressure on the thoracic outlet space. The major changes that lead to TOS include increased fluids in the body by up to 50%, weight gain and changes in posture. Finally, occupational causes. Some jobs are at a higher risk of developing TOS than others. Examples include constructions, manufacturing, and office work. So what are the signs and symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome? Because this condition shares numerous symptoms with other musculoskeletal conditions that affect the neck and shoulders, it can be quite challenging to tell them apart. To help you differentiate between these conditions, here's a list of five symptoms that could mean you have TOS. First, pain. This is the first symptom you may experience. Pain in the neck, shoulder, and arm is the hallmark of thoracic outlet syndrome. Your pain could be either constant or intermittent. Furthermore, the severity of this pain varies greatly from one in person to another. For example, you may experience mild pain while another individual deals with debilitating pain. Finally, some patients notice that the pain is radiating down the arm and hand. Second, numbness or tingling. Feeling that your arm, hand and fingers are numb or tingling should also make you think of TOS. Note that this symptom is what distinguishes TOS from most musculoskeletal conditions. Third, impaired blood circulation. The compression of the arteries and veins will deprive the muscles from oxygen and nutrients. As a result, your arm and hand might feel weak or heavy. Discoloration will occur in advanced cases. Next, weakness or muscle wasting. One subtype of TOS is neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome, which describes the compression of the nerves. Over time, this might lead to muscle atrophy and weakness. Neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome symptoms include a decrease in grip strength and difficulty executing fine motor tasks such as holding and using pencils. Finally, swelling. One major symptom of venous thoracic outlet syndrome is swelling. You might even notice that the veins in your chest wall are dilated or swollen. You may have noticed that we talked about venous and neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome. This is because there are three subtypes of this condition. Each type presents unique signs and symptoms. Here is a breakdown of these types. First, we have arterial thoracic outlet syndrome. This is the result of congenital abnormalities. It's the most severe type. Thankfully, it is also the least common type. Symptoms of arterial thoracic outlet syndrome include pain in the fingers, poor circulation of the arms, and cold sensitivity. Second, venous thoracic outlet syndrome. This type is the direct result of vein compression in the lower neck and upper chest. Symptoms of venous thoracic outlet syndrome include swelling of the arm, hand, and fingers. Finally, Neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome. Bony and soft tissue abnormalities compress and irritate the nerves of the brachial plexus. 
Symptoms of neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome include pain, tingling, numbness, prickling, and weakness in the upper body. The take home message is, thoracic outlet syndrome is a severe condition that could negatively impact your quality of life. Learning about the symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome can help you benefit from early medical or surgical intervention. Making high quality YouTube videos is no easy task. It requires hours of research, writing the scripts and animating the videos. I wanted to create this channel to deliver credible information without any biases and hopefully you may consider supporting me by subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell to avoid missing out on any future releases. Remember, you can always change your mind. Thank you so much for watching.